Tom. Oh, hey! You're awake! Hi! Found you in the middle of the ocean here. Uh... Oh, boy. Uh... Yeah, so, uh, you were adrift at sea. And, uh, let's just... Yeah, get you up here. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, we're in the middle of the ocean right now. And, uh... That's my boat, Dad. And, uh, we're headed to Dragon Roost Island, so, uh, come along, don't you? Won't you come along? Ooh. Not good language on my part. Hello, everybody! Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I almost said Breath of the Wild. Because today was Nintendo's E3 conference, and, uh, I'm still riding the high from that. What with the Breath of the Wild 2 being announced, and, uh, the Banjo-Kazooies. You know, always a good times. Always a good times. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah, we're making our way to Dragon Roost Island. I'm gonna do what I can to keep up with the uh, with the the vlog openings here. Maybe I'll just have <laughs> maybe I'll just have one of them be my vlog opening. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Oh. I'm for water skis. I wonder, could I have just waited until night and done the uh, the auction house? Give me money. <laughs> what ho? Right. There, on the horizon. That is our destination. Really? Dragon Roost Island? High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go to see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island ab about how to see the dragon. How to see your dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music and prayed to the gods. In those days, sim simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it would be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. <laughs> First, conduct in 3-4 time. Do not touch the left stick and just try to match the rhythm using up, down, and right. That's not it. Oh. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. Hold to change the uh, left on the, on the stick to change the rhythm. Then uh, match it. Uh, that, then match the rhythm and tilt the right stick up, right, left, and then down. Beats. That's it. Really? That was not half bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct in 6-4 time by tilting right. You would do well to remember that. You got the Wind Waker! By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods! Use the right stick to conduct. Don't tilt the left stick for 3-4 time, tilt it left for 4-4 four, four time, and right for 6-4 time. Actually, is the fi- can I see the fish yet? I didn't see him when I was pulling up to the island. I guess not. I guess I gotta wait for that. All right, before anything, uh, we want to, oh wow, there's a lot over here. Uh, is this the way to the back of the island? By blowing this up? Got these bomb plants here, the, the Goron special crop. And then when they walk by and, and fart, or when they roll by and fart on you, that, that's the, the Goron special crop dusting. I'll be here all week. Oh, that, this is the way I wanted to go. Uh, there's a crabe. Up we go. Why, hello. There appears to be specific markings that indicate, uh, directions. Oh, 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 oh. 
Not like Ocarina of Time where you can just do it instantly. You gotta do it in time. You gotta learn rhythm. You learn the Wind's Requiem. Whoa! The Wind. Mm. Yep, yeah, that's a mighty nice breeze. <laughs> the name's Zephos. I'm the god of the winds. You're a new wind waker, aren't you? Great, great. For a beginner, you got some nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. Tune that you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction of the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, you could, uh, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want a, an example of it being a bad thing? You should see my brother. It has me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken. Now he spends his time creating Cyclones to torment people with. You encounter any Cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request to you. <laughs> oh, you saw on the bottom screen there was a, as I was talking to him that it was, um... It showed, it showed uh, what the, what uh, baton songs I had there. The baton songs. You know what I'm talking about. How long does it take for these to blow up? Not enough time for me to actually go back all the way over there with one and blow up that one rock. Now we'll make this easier for us. Bam! Ah! Okay. We'll make this easier for us. Bam. Ah! We'll, ma we'll make this easier for us. Bam. We'll make this cheesier for us. Cram. Close enough? Close enough! Oh, Be careful, Link! The edges of the cliff are very dangerous. He'll make it over there. Is that- that's just his lip, right? He's not, like, gritting his teeth? There's, like, a little bit of, like, a- uh, like a- like a light on his lip that makes it look like he's gritting his teeth. Grow! Yeah. Grow. There we go. That's what I wanted. I guess it's just what I needed. Good morning. Welcome to the island postal service. What can I, uh, do, what do you have for delivery? Hello, postman. They call him Postman Pete. Really? Really? Is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Dead, huh? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. You know, death is kind of not very permanent in this world. I have an idea. Really? Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of, uh, of our Airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside. Really? I'll be waiting. This is most like one of the more iconic songs in the entirety of Wind Waker. And the remix or the, the yeah, the remix of it in uh, in Breath of the Wild is mm, Supoib. Just really top notch. No, it's true. He's coming. Well, have you discovered the cause of uh, of the great Valu's anger? Oh, he probably doesn't have that voice. Ah, uh, so you are... Really? Are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. 
we shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop of mount the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living in the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When Arito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost and re to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must, get, must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Of course. Chieftain, wh uh, what do you think... What do you think of consulting, really, with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, really is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways. And in light of, current situ the, uh, in light of the current situation, he may give up on ever, on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yeah, I'd love to meet someone my age. Oh boy, a new friend to play with. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Okay. Here. Really, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. Hey, a delivery bag! Finally crafted bags like this are used by the Reno Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Select it on the items menu with yada 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 and see what's inside. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Komali. Ah! I got the chieftain walks away and this guy flies away. Just like up here? like a stack of letters that's like stuck up there or something. Can I grab these boxes? No. Alright. Had to see. Hello! If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out and there's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that and the pond is all dried up. No need to panic though, I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. Well, you guys can fly, so... You probably don't have terribly much to worry about there. Uh, hello, this is- Oh my god! It's the- Oh my god, it's the postman! Well now, I don't think I've seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't- You wouldn't be here, uh, in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Yes. Oh, excellent! That's good, but first I need uh, to see if I can use you or not. I'll give you a little test, just a small one. Mash the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real si uh, see? Real simple. Use left stick to select the shelf and press A to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Sure. Before time runs out, you have to sort ten letters. Give your best shot! Kinda easy when all of them kinda go to the same spot. I think I'm pretty well suited for this job. Yep. Twenty-seven, not bad. Twenty-seven letters! Great, good, terrific! You pass! Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters. That comes to a grand total of thirteen rupees, am I right? Come back any time! I mean it! Any time! The more letters you sort, the more you'll earn! Not bad, uh, not a bad deal for both of us! 
So let's do this one more time. You ready for work? Must understand what you need to do, am I right? So 20 of uh, more letters, you'll see some nice financial gain. Get started. Ah, damn it. Oh my God. Straight up biffing this. Oh God! What is wrong with me? I need to be faster. Why did it go over there? All right, not as good as the first time, but at least I hit the 20 goal. 22 letters, splendid, superb. Mm, your salary is, uh, this time is one rupee per letter, so I'll pay you 22 rupees. Uh, do it, uh, the higher you do it, the better your uh, salary will become. That's economics. I wonder if he does like, if there's one for like a, like a 30 tier or something like that. Seems to be like a, some kind of storeroom. Is something I can do up here? Oh, well, no, that's the ceiling. Okay, it looked like I could, I could like sidle. I have to break these pots. Break all your pots. All right, uh, let's find, uh, let's find the young girl medley. I was supposed to find you. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shape hat. You're really, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit Velu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Really? He wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali? Father's letter. It's a letter from a father addressed to his son. So he just received the delivery bag. Why not use it to carry the letter down to Kamali? You want to take out the delivery bag, yada, yada, yada. We've been over that before. Uh, the room in the way back is on the first floor is Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his, by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, really? I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Lo Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Yes! 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 Oh man, I've only been here for like 15, 20 minutes late, maybe, and I'm already get going on a date? Oh man! Uh, oh, there, oh. Wait, what the heck? Uh, all right. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Oh yeah, I gotta actually deliver the letter to him, don't I? A letter from my father? Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a skill from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. Business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. You know how I'm supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? You trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, it's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you could find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. He also has Din's Pearl, so that's kind of a, uh, it's kind of important there. It's also kind of a little jerk. So yeah, there's that. Ah, okay, you can't roll upstairs. Maybe the pictograph guy will want, pictograph guy probably wants a picture of Valu. Let me get a picture of, uh, of Kamali though. Hey, maybe it'll give me bonus for giving, uh, getting a picture of Din's Pearl. No, I don't want to show that to him. What? Oh, this. It's strange. Holding it calms me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. 
My grandma used to be Valu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Valu's language. Oh, Grandma, if she were here, I know she could calm Valu down. I just know it. My father and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm Valu down. It's impossible. What? What is it, huh? Listen, you can stare all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? I'm not going to just hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? He's a little jerk. Ha! Shows what you know. This is going in my cringe compilation. I get the picture of Madly as well. She's, she's nice girl, very photogenic. It'll be a picture to commemorate our date. Probably also want to get a picture of Valu as well. Oh, you know what? Oh no, uh, never mind. I, I, there's, I, wait, do I? I don't. Checking to see if I had a bottle, which I don't. Hi. Hey, you actually came. Of, of course, I wouldn't just turn you down. Really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a, a spring here surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was pe it was peaceful and lovely. Then the great Valu got, uh, great Valu, he became so angry and his rage, in his rage he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? He's kind of a jerk! Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed with inner dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in her as the same in, in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength. I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Really? I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the uh. I want to go to the small shrine that's a shrine that's uh, near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could uh, get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I can get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Dude, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge over there and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the, to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Doesn't seem to be high enough. Uh, I'm fine. That uh, didn't hurt, really. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, what, once more. With the wind. Toss away, please. Oh, I have to do it from up here. So that way she gets the proper height. And... Kobe! Oh, thank you! I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. Not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. You got a bottle! Looks like, looks like uh, Medley was hitting the sauce there. Oh, and please don't tell anyone I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck. It's both of us. Oh my god, you guys. I just talked to a girl! I got a bottle of water. We're gonna need that bottle of water with something immediately. Something immediately. By the way, uh, at certain parts of this episode, the bottom screen should have been popping up, but I just looked over at my recording for the, uh, for, or bottom screen. I looked over at my recording at the gamepad, and, uh, it's not actually capturing, so... Uh, that'll, uh, that'll be fixed in the next episode. Oh man, game's chugging with all this water.
I was hoping like, oh, maybe like what uh, the life will revive to the uh, to the spring if I fill it with water. Hey, not really. But that also gonna have to have to do with with just Valu, so we'll have to see. I wonder if you managed to get a bottle earlier than this. If what would happen if you blew up that rock? Oh man. Oh, we got pots here. Always good for rupee. Oh wait. Another chance to Kobe! Ah! Okay, Kobe! Yeah! Kobe! What? Angled Kobe. Kobe, nope. Well, we might have to make this into a Kobe montage if I can't. Ah! That put me all the way back at the beginning? Wow. It's far away. Alright, now how does it work again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, can't, first off, you can't do that in the pond. Second, I forgot what, what it was actually called, but it's a speedrunning strat. Uh, often uh, accompanied by the word pausa. But the Italian word for pause as a meme with uh, one of the most prolific speedrunners of Wind Waker, whose name I've forgotten. But here we are, in Dragon Roost Cavern. Three statues stand before us, one covered in moss, unmoved, untouched by time. Next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we will enter and we will, I guess we will delve deeper into Dragon Roost Cavern. See you all next time. Later. Don't give don't give me that face link. Just you stop it. Stop looking at me, at me like that. Don't look at that either. <laughs>